Hello my viewer, welcome back to Kate's Crochet and today I'm yet back again with another mat tutorial. So the one that we are doing today, uh, we are doing just a little bit um, different stitch from the one that we did the other time, the previous video. So now the materials we need are the tapestry, we also need yarn. I'm using the same color that I used the other time. We also need a crochet hook and the smaller the hook, the better or the easier the work will be. And we also need a pair of scissors and a sharp one uh, for this matter. So now, uh, this video has been requested by someone and especially on the materials um one of my followers who is also a youtuber who is a uh, shilagaki i requested that i do a video and tell where to get the materials now it's 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 not like a uh, kitambo where the materials were not locally available so if you're in nairobi you can get the tapestry like everything but mostly the tapestry you can get it at uh, Biashara Street in Nairobi town all right okay again there are these shops that sell yarn nowadays they are selling uh, tapestry so you can also check because like for me I just got this outside my door there is a lady who sells um, yarns where I usually mostly get my yarns and she is selling them so like this piece this is how the size is so this one goes for 250 250 shillings so i bought one a uh, big piece for 500 and divided it into two so this is how it is and I find it big. Yeah, this is enough for a doormat or a bathroom doormat. Yeah, for the yarns, they are everywhere. Yeah, so this one is chunky yarn. One ball goes for 100 shillings, but when you are uh, buying in wholesale, it goes for 80 bob per piece. Okay, the scissors and hooks, they are just available. Outside your door, you can get the scissors. This one goes for 50 bob. Uh, this hook, it's, uh, it came in a set, which I did an unboxing uh, video. But you can get a piece for your use. If you just want one piece, you can get it in any shop that sells yarn. Okay. Even for the for the beauty shops, there are the hooks that are are used for doing the hair. They are also used in making mats. And maybe one day I'll also use that so uh, that one to show you how it works. So now to cut it, um, to cut the long stories, we just need to get now to the video. So now in a video that I did um, the, the edges, uh, there is a video that I did uh, about the edges. So we are not going to repeat it. If you've not watched that video, please go back and check it because we are just going straight to filling the tapestry. So now today we are using a loop stitch which is almost close to the one that we did here but there is a little difference so now with your yarn you get to one end remember the other one this is how we held our work all right the unworked part was facing us and now during this uh, stitch the unworked part is facing away from us okay so now you you take your yarn 
and this is how you hold your work so now on the first on the first um hole you go through that first hole and come out through the next you take up yarn i don't know if you can see this let me just do it slowly so that you can see all right so now you pull that yarn it comes out through the first hole and now you take the small piece you take it through that loop and pull the yarn to make it tight all right you can trim this excess later so now this is how to start the the stitch so you can fold this part i'm just doing it for the sake of uh, clarity on the video so now where the yarn came out this yarn you go through that and come out through the next hole take up yarn come through the first hole just a little bit of it we are not pulling too much like the the previous video just a little bit then take up yarn go through that and now you pull yeah you remember how we did the the previous video so we do it like that again on the hole that we came out you go through there to the next take up yarn and make sure that you are holding this one so you take up yarn I'm just going slowly for the sake of the newbies and learners yeah you pull a little bit like that take up yarn and now you pull to the same size of the previous loop all right you hold this you go to the same hole you came out take up yarn pull it a little bit just a little bit take up yarn go through that and now pull to be the same size as the previous so you continue doing this to the end of this uh, row this ensures that so you can see down here it's very secure all right it's very much secure so make sure that all your loops are of the same size as you take that make sure that you are holding the previous loops so just come out and pull a little bit take up yarn and now pull to be the same size right so it just becomes fun as you continue doing it i'm doing it slowly as i said for the sake of learners you know when you are learning something and it's going very fast you cannot go with the speed then it might be simple but you take time to learn yeah so you just come out pull kidogo then take up yarn and now pull and it just looks neat yeah it might take time but it's worth the time Just ensure that they are all the same size you can see so we just continue doing this you just pull kidogo 
take up yarn and now pull I tell you it looks neat it looks neat you know even if it's, it's a floor mat you just want to have that confidence that um, you are doing it perfectly uh, it's strong it's neat yeah so as i said in the previous video if you can get a, a hook which does not have this uh part it is just a metal the whole of it like this part better for you because right now this part is filled up so i need to remove my hook i grab the last one i said this is to ensure that all your loops are of the same size and I just go, uh, I just continue doing uh, this. Yeah, you see? It ensures that all your loops that you do later are of the same size. You pull kidogo, take up yarn, and now pull. So we continue doing this. And this is how neat it looks down here. You see down here and this is the wrong side the wrong side just look uh, looks like almost the same as the other one but this one as you, as you can see it's tight yeah it looks a little bit tight so now you will continue doing that until uh, the other side and I meet you on that other side. So I'm at the end. I've done the last hole. Yeah. So now, this is how it looks. Let me remove the hook. 
I cut this yarn at the end here. And I pass it through the last loop. And I tighten that. So now you can see all the other loops. This is how they look. So just like in the previous video, as I said, you can decide just to work your mat with the loops just as they are, or you now can um, trim or cut to open up. So now this is where your scissors comes in. So you go grabbing every loop and you cut. So you just cut so that now open up so you can see so now you go grabbing every loop and you cut it is just like as we did on the other video if your scissors is sharp this will be very quick, uh, quickly done so you can grab as many loops as your scissors can hold and then cut all of them so you go cutting until you get to the end of the row and if you are new here please subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and down in the comment section please comment Share your views, share the kind of tutorials that you would like to see more. So far I've done three videos about maths and I think I still continue doing them because I've dealt with uh, tapestry and there are so many ways you can do your maths even from scratch. Uh, without uh, buying the tapestry so you continue cutting your loops and if you are a returning member of this channel I say a big big thank you may God bless you so much you share this video with your friends with your family so that we can keep growing tell your friends to subscribe to this channel right now we are at 2010 subscribers so let's push it to at least 5k yeah so once you come to the end you can now cut this to be the same size as the others at the beginning we also have a loop which is longer than the others sorry a yarn not a loop so you cut that to be the same size and it just looks exactly now as the other one and this is how down here it looks it just looks firm yeah it looks very very firm you can see the other one that we did this is how it looks i know you can see the difference yeah you can see down here there is some difference now when you come to the end of that row again you start the same process you come in the beginning now in the next line or the next row of holes so we worked on this now we come to this next on the first one where we did our binding on that hole come out through the next and now you pull your yarn through that pull your yarn and now get the small piece pull it through this loop 
and make it tight and now you can hold your work as you held you can fold it when you fold it's easier to work with it so now you go through that hole come up through the next and you just continue doing the same yeah and now you already know how to do it just make sure that you are holding these loops that we've already worked on you don't want to uh, them to to become short so you pull and hold and now you continue doing this till you get to the end cut your yarn pull it through the last loop come back cut your loops to open up you cut from one side to the other side when you are done you cut the excess yarn in the beginning and at the end so that all the yarns now are the same size yeah yeah this is it so you just continue doing this So you can also teach your kids on how to do this, especially now that they are at home. They cannot be always on books. They want to relax their minds. And especially during this uh, COVID time, you do not want them to go outside and interact with people and you need to be cautious. So just to keep them busy when they are indoors, you can teach them this skill. And in that way, you will be helping them. Because at the end of the day, they will be so relaxed. And they, uh, they will have acquired something new. And you know, the way kids appreciate um, learning new things. I think kids are the best when it comes to teaching such skills. Yeah. So you just continue filling your tapestry. So at this point, I'm sure now you can do this comfortably by yourself. Yeah, this is how it looks again. And I just like how the color is popping. Yeah. So this is it. Yeah, and that's it for this video. If it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below um share with your friends and your families yeah and let's keep growing please tell your friend to subscribe to this channel when you get her phone or his phone just rush to youtube kate crochet art get uh watch a video at least two minutes subscribe and ring the bell so that whenever i upload a new video you get notified so thank you so much for viewing this to this end thank you so much and god bless you see you in the next tutorial